Okay, so yes, we're back for another live broadcast. Mm. I've been waiting for that all day. And uh, yeah, we're live on Twitter, we're live on Facebook, we're live around the world, around the planet today, tonight. where Whatever time it is around the globe, we are live and um, we're also live on YouTube. So today I'm going to discuss a subject that is very topical at the moment and it's something that's very close and dear to my heart. And it is shared septic tank legal issues, okay? So what do I mean by shared septic tank legal issues? Well, if you've ever had a septic tank um, that is on, is, okay, so let me break it down. All right, so for, for myself, um, when I got first got married, I moved into um, a Victorian terrace cottage. And it was one of four cottages and the septic tank was in the neighbor's garden at the end of the terrace cottages. And um, all three of us went into her septic tank. Now, for whatever reason, all right, for whatever reason, she didn't get on with any of us. <laughs> and um, which is okay. I mean, maybe she didn't like us. It's, you know, it's her prerogative. That's fine. But the point is, right, for some strange reason, she started getting a, a septic tank emptied every week. And the collective total, it was costing just under £300 uh, a week between the three of us, right? She would, she'd pay, it was 400 quid in total. It was almost a hundred quid for each of us. That was our part share cost of what it costed to get the tank every uh, emptied every week. It was something like 96 quid each. So I had to pay 96 quid. Jim, the next door neighbor had to pay 96 quid. Andy had to pay 96 quid and she paid 96 quid. And it was nuts. It was a massive septic tank. And no, and, and we were like, why are we suddenly paying for being 96 quid a week out each? Look, there's a problem with the tank. Please, can we try and sort it out and fix it? But she wouldn't have it. And this went, went on for months and months, six months, nine months. And it just made, it made me ill. It made my wife ill, made the next door neighbors ill. We were just paying for being 90 quid plus a month out to get this, uh, a week, a week, not a month. 90 quid a week. Sorry, if I said a month, I'm wrong. It was costing us 96 quid a week to get this tank emptied, each of us, right? It's 400 quid a week, that's it, because it was a massive tank. And it was just making me ill. It was making my wife ill. It was making Jim ill. It was making Andy ill. And, and that's a scenario. That's one typical scenario. That's one problem you can have if you're connected to someone else's septic tank or soak away system. And, you know, it could have been me, the septic tank could have been my in my garden and the neighbors could have been, you know, when I might not have got, it, it can happen to anyone. You know, this, the septic tank could be in your garden and the neighbors could be making demands on you, like we were making demands on her and it just gets messy and it just becomes problematic and it just makes everyone ill. So the, that that's one to our, there's tons of other variables, right, in this. For example, I, I had a lady contact me uh, not so long ago. She's got the septic tank in her garden and the neighbors who are connected to it are making demands to her. And those demands, um, I think, maybe are unreasonable and they're stressing her out and worrying her out. So look, there's tons of different scenarios when you're on a shared septic tank. So I just wanted in this broadcast to put some good news to you. And that is, look, there is light at the end of the tunnel, and um, I'm going to show you a simple solution of how you can just cut through the red tape and get a simple solution to the shared septic tank legal issues. OK, so let me just get straight into this. I mean, this is one example. There's loads of different solutions, but the solution I'm about to show you, this particular one um, basically will just. Um, this is the most common shared septic tank problem I'm about to show, show, show you. And this is a most common solution to deal with that problem. All right. So let's get on with this. So here we go. There we go. There's the, say, two houses, right? So there's two houses. And let's say the septic tank is in this neighbor's garden. 
Oh, I've been looking forward to this coffee all day. Mm. Mm. Really nice. Okay. And so um, let me just show you a little bit uh, uh, more about the septic tank and soak away. So here you can see it's a concrete septic tank. It could be any septic tank. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Okay. So, um, so let me just zoom out a bit. All right. Let me take some things away here. So, all right. So this is what it looks like. So uh, let me just, there we go. Okay. So this is, if we were just to peel back the layers of grass, this is what it would look like. Okay. So you've got the house there and then the pipe comes from the house down here. Right. Into say an inspection chamber like so. And it goes into the septic tank and then it goes into the soak away. So that's basically a typical septic tank and soak away setup. All right. And so don't ask me why they put particularly put that septic tank in that particular garden sometimes it's luck of the dice or however the builders feeling that day or, or whatever or whatever I, I don't know the rule you know all the whys and wherefores but nevertheless let's pretend that's a typical scenario okay as i said it could be any septic tank could be any soak away could be any sewage system all right so this is house number two all right so let me show you typically how that will be connected to the neighbor's septic tank. Typically, this is how it works. Your pipework, all right, will come down from the house and it will, again, it can vary, but I'm just giving you a really simple example. It could go into an inspection chamber like so, and then from there, it will go under the fence, okay? So let me just come up and give you an overview overview of that all right then it'll come down the fence and then that pipe will literally go straight to into the septic tank or it will go into as i said an inspection chamber so that's typically the setup of how it looks and so this is what happens so let's say this house here the septic tank is on their land well they've got the keys <laughs> to the garage as it were so they can dictate to house number two here how often they have the septic tank emptied let's say they want to repair or replace the septic tank again they can make the demand to you that they want to upgrade the system it's going to be 15 20 000 quid to do and they want half the money off you because you share the septic tank with them now there may not be anything wrong with the septic tank right i don't know but these are the legal issues that you come up against because let's say right you don't know much about septic tanks and house number one saying to you well we need a new septic tank you just got to take my word for it give us 10 grand uh, and you're like, well, um, I want a second opinion. And they're like, well, we've already, and it just goes, and this is, and, and, and this is just another example of the headaches and, and, and the problems that come from being on shared systems. So the solution, if you, let me just get, tell you this, right? If you are sharing someone's system, the easiest thing, number one, that you can do is to cut yourself off from the shared system so if the septic tank and soakway that you're connected to is in your neighbor's garden the simplest thing to do is cut yourself off from it and i'm going to show you how to do that right now i'm going to show you how easy it is and i'm going to show you how much money that you'll save doing it it's not as expensive or as hard as you would imagine all right so here we go so let me go dive back into this okay so oh where have we gone here all right so this is it's really simple to do i mean that you can get your builder or anyone to do what i'm about to show you all right so i've showed you this scenario so the first thing that you need to do well, i'm going to show you where to get the products in a bit okay and i'm going to show you what products to use but i just wanted to show you how simple it is the principle that's all i want to show, show you right now all right. so the first thing that you need to do you need to ascertain where you're going to put your septic tank so logically in this scenario 
right? If that's your neighbor's tank there, then you can mirror it. You can put your own septic tank in about this area, all right, round about here, all right? So you can determine where or when you're going to, whereabouts you're going to put it. So let's say for argument's sake, I was going to put the septic tank about here for argument's sake. The first thing you need to do, and this is really simple, you need to dig a trench. Bam, like that. It really is that simple. So you dig a trench, right? You don't, you can dig a trench straight from here. You don't have to cut off anything there or cut into anything. Don't worry about that. Literally just dig a trench, all right? Then this trench will go to the hole where you're gonna put your septic tank. So the next thing that you do is you dig a hole. There you go, how easy is that? That's your hole for your septic tank, okay? Pretty straightforward. And um, up to now, you, this will have taken you or your builder. Uh, an hour, hour and a half to do. All right. Then the next thing that you do before you put anything in, you dig another hole for an inspection chamber. And then you dig another hole for your soak away. So there you go. That is the sum total of what you do. So just putting it really simply and keeping it really basic. Right, you dig a trench, you dig a hole for your septic tank, you dig a hole for an inspection chamber, and you dig a hole for your soak away. I'm going to show you a little bit more now of how it all fits together. Excuse me. All right, so let's start with the trench number one. Okay, let's start with the trench. First of all, <clears throat> again. You don't have to cut in, into anything or, you know, you don't have to be a rocket scientist to work this out. The first thing that you do is just put a pipe in the trench. doesn't need to be connected to anything. Just lay it in the pipe, uh, in the pipe. Just lay the pipe in the trench, okay, that goes towards the, the tank, okay? So just lay it like that, all right? Then the next thing that you do is... You put the tank, bang, in the hole, just like that. There you go. So that's pretty straightforward, isn't it, so far? The tank is in the hole. So there's the pipe, and you put the tank in the hole. And the next thing that you do, you'll notice here, which I've highlighted just here, you'll notice that there's an outlet pipe on the tank. And all that you do is put an outlet pipe into the outlet pipe hole on the tank. And then all that you do then is put inspection chamber in. And these just slot together, just slots together. Look at that. So that's really simple so far. And then this is even easier, and you're going to love this. Right? This is how easy it is to put your soak away. In. All right. So this is something called septic tank soak away crates. You put one in, two in, put three in. The number of crates will depend. Did, um, will differ depending on the number of bedrooms that you've got or you haven't got. So in this instance, there's just six. So it could be could be eight, could be twelve, could be could be sixteen. So don't worry about that because I'm going to show you how to work that out in a minute. But anyway, in this instance, we're putting six crates in the hole. There you go. That's pretty straightforward, isn't it? <laughs> I mean. Um, and by the way, these aren't rainwater crates. You can't use rainwater crates for a, sept a septic tank soak away. You have to use septic tank soak away crates. OK, so um, just thought I'd tell you that because on some sites, quite rightly so, they'll say, no, you can't use rainwater crates. You're not allowed to. And that's right. You have to use septic tank soak away crates. So there is a difference, but people get confused about it. OK, then once you place those in the hole, you just put a pipe from here into the crates. So let me do that for you now. Look up. That's really straightforward, isn't it? So what you do, you cut a hole in the crates there and just put a standard four-inch pipe into the crates. Then when you've done that, you just cover the crates over with membrane, like so. So you cover, you put the membrane around the side and you put membrane around uh, on the around the sides and you put membrane over the top, just like so. And the reason for that is 
once you cover it over with soil, it stops the soil sinking into the crates and it stops any soil from around the sides of the crates getting into it. So it seals them. It allows the water out, but it doesn't allow the soil in. So how does this work now? All right. Well, next thing you've got to do is make a hole in the inspection chamber and just put the pipe in or you just can you just connect your pipe from here wherever you want to connect it in you just connect it straight to there and then the beautiful thing is right then this pipe work here you can just disconnect that pipe work and decommission it so let me do that let me just fill that there we go bang so let's say you've cut you've dug that, that pipe out and you filled it all in there you go and then so all your wastewater now will leave your property it will come down here it will go into the septic tank there from there this little beauty here basically if any baby wipes or nappies or sanitary towels go into the septic tank accidentally or on purpose some people just put them down it will get trapped in there and that's a good thing because you can lift the lid and take them out and it'll save you hundreds of pounds basically it means that um, your soak away won't ever become blocked up and it will save you ah, it'll save you hundreds if not thousands of pounds when you get a blockage it'll stop you getting blockages uh, because what happens is dying a rod will come out and they'll charge you six seven hundred quid to unblock it and uh, if they take a week to come and do it because they're busy then you then you, and your septic tank soak away isn't working you've got to pay like two three hundred quid a time to get your tank emptied and if you have to do that two or three times before dino rob does it you know it can end up costing you like 1500 two grand just because you didn't get the german inspection chamber so there you go that is how easy it is to cut yourself off from your neighbor's system so now if i come out look there we go look at that so each house now has got its own septic tank and soak away system. So your neighbors now, they can put a gold plated septic tank in, right? They can put a diamond encrusted soak away in that costs half a million pounds. You don't care anymore. Why? Because you've got your own septic tank and soak away system in. Look at that. You're completely cut off from them. And some questions that people ask, do you need permission to, um, uh, put a septic tank and soak away in. Well, the law states this. If you were connected to a septic tank, whether it's on your own land or whether it's on their property, prior, before the 1st of Jan 2020, then you do not need planning permission or permits to do so. I'll say that again. If you're on a shared system, and you were, and your property was connected to that shared system before the 1st of January 2015, then you do not need approval from building regs or the environmental agency, or you don't need any permissions and you don't need any permits. That's the law. OK, so that makes it really easy for people who are connected to shared systems to put their own septic tank and soak away system in so i don't know why it jumps like that but there you go so now another couple of things important things to tell you as well okay so if you're wondering about the septic tank and soak away kit you saw here how much is it going to cost you okay and that's a fair that's a fair point how much is it going to cost you to put a septic tank and soak away system in well you can get a septic tank consultancy or a septic tank sewage treatment plant firm to do it and they'll charge you anywhere from six to ten to fifteen thousand pounds to do it or right you can just go and here's an example um let me just get this up here for example we do uh if you just go to septictank.co.uk we do something called a septic tank and soak away kit all right, so let's give you an example of what this will cost. So you can get it for one to two bedrooms, three to four bedrooms, five to six bedrooms, and seven to eight bedrooms. So let's say you've got a one to two bedroom property. It's going to cost you 1499 And it comes, so you get everything with that. You get the septic tank and soak away. So let me show you what you get. You get the pipe. 
you get the German inspection chamber, you get the tank, you get a free riser with the tank worth a hundred pounds. You get the septic tank soak away crates and you get free membrane worth a hundred quid. And yeah, and so that's what I found. They're very, very, very popular. There's another video there which shows you how to install it. Um, got all the dimensions there, but it'll literally take you or your builder three hours, two and a half hours to get the whole lot in from start to finish. So that's where um, that is. Um, I suppose the best advice I could give you, really, if you, so, in a nutshell, if you are if you are attached to your neighbour's septic tank and soakaway, I would heartily recommend, most definitely recommend, you cut yourself off from it and put your own septic tank in. Now, what if <laughs> you're the neighbour with the septic tank and soak away in your garden and someone else is connected to you and they are making demands to you? Well, the most simplest solution, right, for you is to get them to put their own septic tank and soak away in. You see, now, they can't demand, right, so let me give you some things that they can't demand. All right, because you've got the septic tank on your land and they're going into you, they've almost you've given them like a way leave, a, a right of way, right? So, from their pipes into your system, they can never demand that you put you know 50,000 quid system in, or you do this, or you do that. Only the environmental agency or the government can demand that, right? You can demand you want half the money off them for a new system, but they can't demand that you know, they want this off you or they want that off you. You're in full control because the septic tank, as long as it's legal and it's working, all right, they may be moaning at you and they may be saying this and they may be saying that and they may be stressing the hell out of you, maybe worrying you. But if your septic tank is um, working, you know, in good working order and, uh, you know, there's no signs of problems or whatever, then no one can make any demands on you. But if you're not getting on with your neighbors and the septic tank is a contentious issue and it's causing problems, right, then I seriously recommend that you tell them, show them this video, for example, because it will show them that they can simply and easily put their own septic tank and soak away in for, for 1,400 quid, just over 1,400 quid. So, so there you go. So I hope that's helped you today. Um, you know, it's, it's horrible. It really is horrible when um, legal, legal issues um, do uh, come between you and your neighbours. It, it really is. It, it, it really is stressing and it really is horrible. So there you go. I hope that's helped you today. Um, another thing I just wanted to point out before I go today is that many people are asking me about the septic tank ban. All right. Many people asking me about the septic tank ban. What exactly is the septic tank ban? Well, the septic tank ban uh, deals with two primary areas. Number one, if um, the septic tank ban, the actual proper name for it is the general binding rules. And if you want to see more information on that, then you can just go to the .gov website. Let me just show you here. Although I'm going to tell you, I'll give it to you in a nutshell what it's all about. But I'm just saying, if you want to find out more about it, you can just, um, uh, oh, I'm sorry, general binding rules. There we go. And you can see all about it here. There's tons of information on it. But in a nutshell, what it's about is this. Many septic tanks and soakaways um, discharge into water courses. So if your septic tank and soak away discharge into a water course or you're near a, a water course such as a brook, a river, a stream, ditch, culvert, etc., then your system will become illegal by the 1st of Jan 2020. All right. So I'll 
in another broadcast, I'll show you how to fix that really simply and easily. But that's the first thing. That's the most important one that the septic tank ban. They call it the septic tank ban because the environmental agency and UK uh, government are going to ban septic tanks from going into watercourses after the 1st of Jan 2020. But, but if you've got a septic tank and you're not by a watercourse, then you need to do what I'm about to show you. All right. This is very, very important. And um, you need to get yourself a government compliance form. All right. So basically, um, after the 1st of Jan 2020, uh, 2020, every house must have a government compliance form. So let me just show you what they look like. There you go. That's a government compliance form there. OK. And uh, basically, you put you, you, you put this display in your in your kitchen or your utility room and you hand one to your solicitor, all right? And don't let that stress you out, they're free, all right? I'm actually giving them away free. So let me just show you. So if you've got a septic tank and you're watching this broadcast, right? And um, I seriously recommend you get one of these, they're free, they don't cost a penny. Go to septictank.co.uk at the top there, you'll see here it says septic tank ban, or you'll see a banner there, beat the septic tank ban, just click on that. All right, and you'll see a lovely video of me grimacing like that, right? But you can watch the video there, and it'll explain in, in a little bit more detail what I'm explaining to you now. Video. On the third... All right, but here I've actually written a lot of the information here, but this is the important bit. At the bottom, you'll see there you can put your name and your email address in there. When you do that, right, you will then, um, uh, via email, I will send you a free government compliance form, just like this. So you download it, so download it, download as many copies as you want, hand one to your solicitor and put one in your utility room. And they're really easy. When you've downloaded it, I mean, I'll give you a quick example of some of the things it says. Right, so H, Her Majesty's Government, maintenance notice in accord with UK building regs. I acknowledge the sewage system I have installed at my property is A, so is it a septic tank, is it a cesspool, et cetera, et cetera. Where is the sewage system located? So you'd say if it was in the front garden, the back garden, if it was in your neighbor's garden. The sewage system has a capacity of X amount of liters um, and so on and so forth. The sewage system is constructed out of I don't know, fiberglass, bricks, mortar, concrete, whatever, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So basically, you fill in the blanks at the end of the form there, and uh, then you just sign it and you date it. And this form will save you thousands and thousands of pounds. And as I said, all you need to do is go to septic tank. .co.uk. I'll just show you how to do that. I know you're not silly, but look, just type in septictank.co.uk at the top of your bar there. All right, and it should just come up. And as I said, on the left hand side, you've got beat the septic tank ban, and you've got the septic tank ban there. So that's a free tip that will save you thousands of pounds. Because what happens if you come to sell your property and you haven't got one of these? What happens is the solicitor representing the people buying your property will say to you what sewage system have you got in place and um and you'll say uh i've got a septic tank in there. and they go okay uh, what capacity is the septic tank and you'll start rummaging around for your septic tank emptying receipts stuff like that and he'll say well we need something a bit more substantial than this and then maybe you know, and, and it just goes on and on and on. Maybe you, you show him, I don't know, you, you get the tech tank emptying man to come around and shine a torch in there. But it's still not evidence. It's not enough evidence or sub substantial enough to prove to the people buying your house what system you've got, et cetera, et cetera, or the condition of it. And so to cut a long story short, they'll basically get, they'll say, look, you know, um, maybe they because maybe they don't know what a septic tank is. Maybe they've never had one or if they have had one, they're worried about the condition that it's going to be in. Um, they'll get some people around. They'll get some quotes for putting a new septic tank and soak away in. And they'll they'll give you quotes for six, 12, 15, 20,000 quid. And they'll get you to reduce the price of your house correspondingly. And this blows does many people's heads in there like stuff it. I ain't selling my house to you if you're going to do that. But the trouble is they'll come across this problem again when the next vendor comes along because the solicitors are, you know, <laughs> are, um, you know, keyed up to this, you know. But if you've got a government compliance form, 
all these problems go away. You just you just hand them the form. The solicitor looks at the form and he's like, okay, you've got this system. It's that okay, blah 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 blah, and the problem goes away and it'll save you. It'll save you thousands and thousands of pounds, right? Thousands of pounds. So there you go. So those are my tips for the day. So if you've got a shared system, um, and it's stressing you out, then you know, have a watch of this broadcast again and cut, seriously think about cutting yourself off from your neighbor's system. Cut yourself off and put your own septic tank and soak away. And as I said, if you go to septictank.co.uk, you'll see the septic tank and soak away kits there. As I said, they're worked out for you. They're, everything comes with them. All you've got to do is dig the hole and they come to different various sizes, you know, based on the bedrooms. And if you've got a septic tank and, um, you know, it's not going into a water course, then get yourself a free government compliance form. They're free, all right? And, uh, and there you go. So thank you very much for, for watching today's live broadcast. I um, hope you have a great evening and um, I'll speak to you.